about me. Hello all, so welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I almost had a stroke and almost said Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super, but it's Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And what we're gonna do is being well, ready to hit the books again, Gohan. Make a dish. Let me add them. Do nothing. So we're jumping back into the main story. Sure, when we continue the story, your party will be yes, disbanded, but it's just me That's as Gohan. I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. I really don't think he'll care. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. So we're jumping into the Cell or the Android Saga. Spoilers. Androids. So yes, everybody's been brought back to life ever since uh, we defeated Frieza on Planet Namek. We restored Namek. Everybody was brought back. The Mechians are on their are on new Namek now. And Goku is currently on his way back to Earth from who knows where. But he survived the explosion and he's on his way back now. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Dragon Ball Z, Android Terror Arrives. Oh, everyone's here already? Krillin, you felt it too, right? It's Frieza, and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're going to miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekians already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! Here they come. Over there, it's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. Uh, hold on, I think there's someone else with him. Didn't we like just say that? Do not fly there. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power. You, you gotta be kidding me. What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! Talk to everyone about Frieza's invasion. So essentially what happens post the Namek Saga is that Frieza's, like the remains of Frieza, are recovered by his father, King Cold, who is actually the one with him, who has, I think, the same level of power as Frieza does now, in like his final form, in addition to the, the, like, the cyborg parts, like the robot parts that actually give him more power, because it can like hold more energy and stuff like that. But, so yeah, so Frieza's more power than before, that... Goku could only defeat after fulfilling like an ancient prophecy. So none of us are Super Saiyans. And now there's basically two Frieza's and we don't even know if King Cold can transform like Frieza does. We can only assume. I came to get a peek at that Frieza guy. I never got a chance while we were on Namek. Or I'm sure we got a peek of him when he's murdering everybody. So this Frieza guy, he's really that tough, huh? Yep. 
No idea, Poir. I mean, we're, I guess we're just gonna do what we can and get, do what we can. You actually held your own against someone that powerful? Yep, only when I was really angry. That key's unbelievable. I talked to Vegeta with his super sick Batman shirt. God, I want that so bad. On Amazon, you can get like the yellow pants. I just want the yellow pants, and then I want want this shirt so badly. On oh, a little white underneath it. Mmm, I want it. Why didn't he finish that bastard off? Well, he actually was trying to. And to think we're going up against him again. So, Krillin? How in the world did Frieza survive? So, back to Vegeta? First, we'll move in. On foot, of course. Alright. Scout it out. Man, the closer we get... The heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Y yes. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this super King Cold who you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. Mecha Frieza. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. Ooh, now who is this? The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Umai wa mo, shindere ryu. Noni? Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Oh! Looks like this young man could turn Super Saiyan himself. The only one down here is Burning attack is one of my favorite attacks of Dragon Ball. Whoa! Oh, he does burning attack. Dive bump slash kick. Child's play. Tesla. Tesla. 
Oh, Death Ball didn't even see that. And it's the end of Frieza. Whoa! And his daddy. And his ship! It's like they were never here. Those two huge powers! They're both gone! What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. Go meet up with the mysterious youth. Mysterious youth. Hi, Mr. Piccolo. Freeze off almost instantly. Who is he? Someone extraordinarily powerful. He killed Frieza in the blink of an eye. What does Vegeta have to say? A Super Saiyan? That's impossible. Oh, I bet that just ruffles him up. Who could it be? For Goku, you're more than welcome to join me. What? 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 How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. <laughs> this creep. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Talk to the mysterious youth. What's up there, bud? Um, so how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So... Can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? H how did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. Trunks is... he's 17? So you can tell us your age. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. Totally not suspicious that he has a Capsule Corp logo on his shirt, jacket. Three hours later. He should be here soon. There he is, right on time. His little Ginyu pod. Huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? 
You mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me. Who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? Yeah, shut up, Yamcha. Now we're Goku. Goku's Super Saiyan transformation is now available. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I was, I was like, I guess everybody else is gone. Prime Golden Wolf Meat. Okay, hold on. Characters. That's the skill tree. Don't mean to do that yet. Attack palette. Transformations. Oh, it's under the triangle now. Okay, so that's just right there. Cool. And I'm in my yard rat clothes. I suggest you talk to that guy, but stay on guard. I'm pretty. <laughs> Now's not the time for idle chatter, Kakarot. Welcome back, Dad. Glad you're here. You'll have to tell me about Oop, the travel. Oop! There, later. there goes the Wi-Fi. Not sure what that's about. Just who is that guy? Let's find out. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Oh, you could even tell like the change in his voice when he becomes a Super Saiyan. Now? I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Oh, we're just fighting? We're actually gonna fight Trunks? Or a mysterious youth? You really do look just like me. Yeah, pretty amazing. Lend me your energy. What? Lend me your energy. I'm in the wrong one. There you go. I'm going to do this one. Amazing. 
you're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but... I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. Oh, okay. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not reacting to him being like he's from the future and all that, but I'm like doing the math in my head of like he's 17 and from 20 years in the future. Okay, I got it. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. Wow, he just went out and said that. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. Technically, they're cyborgs, but... They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. And if you want to check out how Goku defeated the Red Ribbon Army, then I would recommend you go watch some Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy, I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like, back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. Gasp. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. It's that Saiyan blood. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Hell yeah. Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Wait, should? Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, 
You said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes. She's right over there. <gasps> Bulma. Oh! The Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean... It just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we going to see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Hey, we got trunks. See ya. Well, now I just got to figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Smooth. Went back home? So just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? Yeah, look at them ears. My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. If we're not going in unprepared, if we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you. But I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Yes, best buddy. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Oh, yes, story time. Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. <laughs> That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. 
The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Yeah, Piccolo, you tell them. Kakarot. Yes, Vegeta. You may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. Okay. <laughs> Bye. So I guess we'll see each other in three years, uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Oh, wait, is this where we go drive cars? I'm pretty sure it's one of the filler episodes. Oh, Vegeta's gone, damn it. Where's Goku's house? Bye, everybody. See you in three years. Wait, what? what? Oh, the, I thought the little notification thing was over one of them. Is there a Dragon Ball here? Nope. Continent Center area has been unlocked. King Kai's Planet area has been unlocked. Continent Center area. That's probably where we are right now, so that's cool. Where's... King Kai's Planet? Hmm. Display area. I wonder where that's supposed to be. Oh, there's a Dragon Ball there. Okay. Off to Goku's home. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the filler where... Oh, with Goku now back on Earth, the mysterious young man asks to speak with him in private. He reveals his name to be Trunks and explains that he comes from a future to warn of a deadly threat that will appear in three years' time. So yeah, there's a, there's a filler episode where Goku and Piccolo go get their driver's licenses. And I think Piccolo, well, I don't think any of them get them. I think it's just stuff to waste time because, I mean, it's pretty messed up that it's like, Hey guys, I'm back from defeating Frieza. Uh, see you in three years. Goodbye forever. Oh, Jesus. Look, see some bad Stop. I'm, I'm not, I didn't... I'm, I'm trying to read. Cool. Okay, so I'm assuming what she just said was that there's, like, some runaway um, Frieza Force people. Oh, yes. Okay, so because there's Frieza ships there now, so we see that. Uh, anyway, we're going to be talking to Chi-Chi and continuing the story in the next part. Get our train on.